Okay, time for the second exercise. In this exercise, you should add a condition to rules because uh, we want to be able to check if any of these words appear in the body of a uh, comment. And uh, that means that we have to compare a list of words against a, a big text uh, and uh, well, check if any of these words appear in that big text. And there is no condition to do that right now in rules. So let's create one. Uh, and if you make this happen, it will look something like this. Let's see. Uh, I'm going to add a new component. Again, I'm just going to call it a temporary component. I'm going to do a condition set here. Temporary. And let's actually add a text as input here. Large text. I'm just going to call this text. Very good. Continue. And I'm going to add a condition, and you can see here, I should now have a new, yep, a new condition here. On the rules coding, the group called rules coding. Any words of uh, words exists oh, in long text. This is a typo. Sorry about that. Uh, list of words to search for. Let's go to data selection, and select the list of words that are already available to rules. Nice. Uh, text to search in, let's switch to data selection here again and use this text that is inputted to this uh, uh, component. All right, and I'm going to uh, evaluate this, uh, execute. Um, let's just insert some dummy lipsum here. All right, no alpha, beta, or gamma here. I'm just going to copy that and execute. Now that's you. This should be false, correct. And if I execute it again and sneak in a beta here, which is a part of this list of words we have, execute, I get true. Um, okay, how to do this? I'm going to give you a few hints. Again, let's see. Uh, rules develop info. You will want to look at the conditions here uh, to look at their structure, how they are built. Um, and in particular, you want to look at these parameters here that are kind of the input to the conditions. And you will have to also uh, do a, a function that do the actual evaluation. Um, and uh, either uh, the function should have the name of the uh, condition itself, the machine name of the condition, or if you declare this base property, uh, this will be the callback function instead. And it will take these two things here as, as input. Um, yes, that's kind of it. Uh, also, yeah, uh, I recommend that you add this code to the rules.include file. So rulescoding.rules.include, because then it's only loaded when it's needed. That saves some performance on your site. Yeah. yeah, okay, good luck, see you.